Okay, so here's kind of a bad setup for this because I have my webcam attached to my headset. But yeah, here's my hand. Kind of like very dainty, isn't it? And you know like a, like a flick, right? So you can like do a, 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 a pinky flick, a ring finger flick, a middle finger flick, and an index finger flick. But I've come up with uh, something that I would call, I guess, an angel's flick, or like Ramiel's flick, uh, a demon's flick, I guess you could say, because it looks like this. Because the reason why it looks like this is because it's much more effective than a flick like this or this. And the reason why it looks like this is because... Here, let me show you. Um, place your hand onto the table like this. And... Uh, <clears throat> You knuckle your fingers down like this, and you bring forth the index finger like this, and you lift it up, and then your thumb, you lift it up, you can, and then you bring out your pinky, you lift it up like that, but when it comes to these two fingers, if you bring out your index finger and do it like this, you just can't flick it up. That is because these two fingers share the same tendon. These two fingers share the same tendon off this forearm. Whoops. God damn it. <sighs> I'm so stupid with my... Yeah, it shares the same tendon. So that means that these share the same tendon and the same muscle. So that means that they're both the strongest. So, if you tense the ring finger like this, that means that there's more tension and if you flick this towards something it is the most powerful due to the tension and the strength of this huge muscle responsible for these two fingers. Yeah. So that's what I would like to call the demon's flick. Kind of strange and funny, but there you go. Just a little bit of a thing. <laughs>